at SETI and we are going to demonstrate how to do a subcutaneous injection. A subcutaneous, also known as a sub-Q injection, is an injection that is given underneath the skin. Your vet might ask you to do a sub-Q injection uh, to administer certain types of medication, most commonly insulin. Okay, let's get started. So that is my assistant, Simba. And uh, since Seti is not going to let us demonstrate these injections on him multiple times or in slow motion, I'm first going to show you these on a pillow. And you can actually use a pillow at home to help you practice and get comfortable with giving subcutaneous injections to your pet. So Seti is on Lantus, also known as Blargine Insulin, and there are many different types of insulin, and so it's very important that you work with your veterinarian to find the right dose and the right type of insulin for your pet. And obviously we are doing insulin injections today, but subcutaneous injections are used for many different types of medications. Things like ranitidine or buprenorphine might be uh, given underneath the skin. So this is just uh, an example. They work for, for all of those medications. So here we have Seti's insulin syringe, all ready to go with the amount of insulin that he requires drawn up. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove the cap off of the needle and imagining that this is your pet's back, you are going to pinch the skin and make a tent. And the easiest place to do this is in between the shoulder blades or over top of the back of the neck because those are the areas that have the most skin. And so once you've made your, your tent with the skin, you are going to quickly insert the needle into the hollow part of the tent you've made, just like that and then you draw back on the plunger of the needle and make sure that you're not in a blood vessel. You don't want to inject these drugs into a blood vessel. And so if you see any blood come into your syringe, you don't inject, you simply come out and you start again. So with that being said, we have pulled up on the skin. We've now injected the needle into the hollow part of the skin. We've pulled back, there's no blood and we are okay to give the injection just like that. As you become more comfortable giving subcutaneous injections and you are aware of the space that you're in underneath the skin, then oftentimes you don't have to draw back. Um, but that takes a lot of practice. So it's often easiest to give subcutaneous injections when your pet is eating. So I'm gonna get Seti set up here. And using the same technique that I demonstrated on the pillow, I'm now going to give him his insulin. So I'm going to draw up his insulin to the appropriate amount for him. He's catching on. And then while he's eating, I'm going to find a spot along his neck. I'm gonna lift up, put it underneath his skin, Give the injection, and that's that. Good boy. Good boy. So hopefully this video will help you uh, to give subcutaneous injections to your pet. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call the Lomsness Veterinary Hospital. Thank you.